Hello and welcome to another just uh, incredible life-altering tutorial. Yes, that's right. That's what this is going to be. This is like the fifth time I've started doing this tutorial. And so I'm already over it and you're just starting to hear it. So if it sounds like I'm over it, that's that's why. Um, essentially, here's the issue that we've been having. Uh, we record on reds. And those reds, uh, they look great, they're awesome, but the problem is, is that when we're out shooting, a lot of times our videographers will record at 120 frames per second with the base frame rate still at 24 frames per second. It's great, it looks beautiful, it's a, it's a great shot, but what happens is a lot of times people will be talking in those shots and, in, and we might need those to be matched with the audio. So we have to put a 500% speed ramp on those 120 frames per second shots to make it match with the audio. But the problem, bigger problem than that, is we were working on a show just recently where there's three cameras, two of them were like 120 frames per second, one was um, real time, but we wanted the slow motion to be grouped with the real time in real time, okay? Because, uh, and then we wanted to make it slow motion when we wanted it to be slow motion, okay? And so it's a little tricky. So you're, you're putting these speed ramps on and then trying to put them in Avid, but then the bigger problem is that you cannot group clips in Avid that have speed ramp effects on them. So if you try to make a multicam in here, um, good luck. You just can't because it's not going to group a clip with the speed ramp. Okay. And so we've been trying to figure out essentially how to change the base frame rate of said clip to be 120 frames per second, because when you make it 120 frames per second, it will then be able to group. And so in order to do that, we make all of our proxies in DaVinci, which is a whole nother tutorial in itself, but we, we make them in DaVinci, right? So what we found is that when you have the clip in DaVinci, then all you have to do is just identify which clips are slow motion, usually by looking at the type and seeing that there's no audio associated with that clip, and then right click on that. And I've already done this, so I'll just kind of change it back and then back, and then say clip attributes, and change it from, it will be 23976, change, it, change the video frame rate from 23976 to whatever frame rate um, the, the record frame rate was. Okay, so there's base frame rate and record frame rate, a a on reds at least. So for us, it was 119.88. So if, if it was like, a lot of times they'll do uh, 47.952 also, but that's not what this one was. So I would, you know, click this. And actually, let me just put it back to 23.976 so you can see when I change it and I double click on it, and I play this plays in slow motion here as you can see that's a slow beautiful slow motion zebra shot right and but the problem is we have people talking and we need to match that with the audio and group it because we'd have two cameras okay so then you would just before exporting it from here right click clip attributes change from 23 to 119.88 say okay and then it, playback uh you it might be hard to tell but it's real time here so yeah so no longer slow motion in davinci and that will translate to the export so you just export it and this is uh, essentially how you export from davinci to avid as you do an mxf op atom dnx well we do dnx hr you can change your size um and then we do dnx hr lb low bandwidth um and then Let's just make sure uh, 2048 by 1080 is the size because that we don't like to see the bars. So we just match the size that we recorded. Um, and then you would just add to render queue and export, which I have already done. And then when you bring it in to Avid, which I've also already done here, see, I'm ahead of the game, guys. A lot of you, you know, I get a lot of like flack here for like not editing my tutorials and I get it. I get it. So I, I actually put some time into this. You're welcome. You are welcome. I did. I pre-exported. I pre all this. So drop it in, and then you will see it plays back real time. Oh look, looks real nice, real time. But the great thing is, a now you can group this clip with other clips into a multicam sequence. And b, if you click click on the effect editor, motion effect editor, you can also promote said clip and make it from 500 
to 100 and voila, slow motion. Most beautiful thing I've ever figured out and done. I haven't seen this anywhere. I'm sure this tutorial exists somewhere. Um, but yeah, essentially changing the base frame rate from 24 to 120. That's it. And now you can group these in your uh, multicams and life will feel in order again, at least. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh, also, update. Um, getting more and more subscribers, which I, I say more. It's like three, I'm, I'm still near 300. But I am considering starting a um, kind of a class, I guess you would say. Uh, I've downloaded the outline of all the Avid uh, tutorial lessons that you have to pay for with skilled professionals. And I was just going to simply go through every single one of those lessons um, in order and just give it to you for free. Um, if you think that's a good idea and you're still listening, uh, I mean, I'll be honest, if you're still at this point as a beginner, then you're gonna make it in this world. You're gonna be a good Avid editor, but um, yeah, let me know what you think on that. If you're skilled, then I don't know, man. Just, hi. <laughs>